Hi everyone, today I'm gonna teach you how to use a smartphone to connect our Argos printer. Firstly, we can go to Argos website to search iLevel Print. Then you can find the app right here. Android system can download from Play Store. iOS system can download from App Store. Now we can start to use iLevel Print app. Basically, there are two different ways to connect the Argos printer wired and wireless. Let's begin with wireless connection. Wireless connection through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. We choose Bluetooth connection first. You will see the pop-up message saying the binding process has been completed. Tap the top screen menu to choose Wi-Fi connection. Alibaba Print will detect IP address automatically select it to connect your smartphone. You can also enter IP address to the blank column to link printer directly. The printer flashing lights mean the connection is successful. First, please make sure your smartphone support OTG function before use. Second, you need an OTG adapter to connect the printer. Connect USB with Argos printer. Connect OTG adapter with your smartphone. Tap the top screen menu, choose USB connection. Alibaba Print needs access permission. Press OK, the binding process has been completed. The printer flashing light means the connection is successful. You can create an added label in the iLevel Print app. Tap the menu from the left side. Choose Print Setting. Choose Label Type and select Take. Choose Print Method and we choose thermal transfer. Set up print speed and we choose 6 IPS. Set up print darkness, we choose 10. If there are no need for the cut and peel function, please set the post print action to tear off. Now we are going to show you how to create a new label. Let's start with the template name. Select image icon to import image. You also can add an image size right here. Add new text line, you can use the auto size function. You can also input different materials in blank space. The company name can be added in this demo. Now we're going to add 1D barcode. We can set 1D barcode type in this function. Alibaba Print also support 2D barcode. We can also add different 2D buckle type here. Save file, then you finish added label. Press print button, then you can print label. You can download the built-in template in iLevel Print. Choose one of the templates to customize for your own needs. Save the template. Select my label and print it out to check. Press print button, then you can print label. Alibaba Print supports two different file formats. 
in the left menu, choose the import file. You can import JSON or CSV format with pre-established information. The app will also show the message if the import is successful. Import CSV file in the same way. This is our CSV demo file. Choose setting corresponded with your own. Enter the diameter setting. You can choose or define the delimiter you want. The default symbol is comma. Select character set. The app provides the selection of different countries' characters. We choose UTF-A for the common setting in this video. Press Preview to save your setup, and it will show your CSV information. Select Shipping JSON file. Now we can start to link backward with CSV file. Select data source. Select set table. Select set print field to input your file. The print field is identical to your CSV head. Here we choose the shipping CSV, binding the database and printing backward. Next, we are going to print the label. Set up copies. Set database range. In this demo, we have six fields. We're going to demonstrate set database range function. Print five labels and we select the range from one to five. At the end, we get the file label corresponding with each binding database information. That's the end of the iLevel print instruction video. Thank you for watching.